Righto, so the big girl is nearly all back together again. Lots been going on with this build over the last uh, few days. We've developed a really nice little neat uh, mounting bracket for the radar cruise sensor on the front. So like a lot of these modern uh, vehicles we're seeing here now at Chameleon, we've got the lane change assist, we've got the forward radars and so on, and we want a really OEM type finish there. So we've developed a nice little mounting bracket, just a powder, powder coating now, that'll be back shortly. We've also extracted the... Uh, the rear lane change assist sensors which were in the tail lamps actually on the tubs of these F trucks and we pulled that sensor out we've made up a, a little uh, prototype bracket there which is just about through testing and working really really well a pretty comprehensive 12 volt package we've touched on here before you can see in the in the cabin of the car there we've got our oh, if I just lock the car um, we've, you can hear that uh, central locking there you go uh, triggering all the every single door on this uh, on this canopy is tied into the car central locking pretty comprehensive 12 volt package here we can see we've got our steady lights everywhere a C-Bus controlled C-Zone uh, electrical control and monitoring system on this car. So we've got push button mechanical switches. You can see the twin rear facing steadies there, which are wired on. When the car's turned off, they're wired as a camp work light, but when the car's on, we actually wire them up uh, through an ignition override where they only come on uh, when we've got uh, a reverse signal and the override switch. So we can have them on or not on with reverse, or when the car's stationary, we can use them on and off as a uh, as a work lamp there's our radar uh, sensors there just on their prototype bracket nearly finished off we can see the twin steady there nearly blinding us as we walk around coming around we can see lights everywhere fully dimmable i'll just turn these big steady floodlights off so we've got a bit more a uh, bit more vision our gen 2 internals now we've come up um, with a whole new set of modular sizes with all our internals so there's about seven different widths two heights of of our drawers so here's our 695 we go from a 450 up all the way up to a 1220 and it allows you to sort of pick and choose depending on what else you've got in your canopy to fill up the various different canopies and again our canopies range from a 700 mil 2.0 up to our largest uh, 6.0 2100 this one's a 5.5 so just short of that you can see a little bit of deck space at the back there internally we've got one of our false, false floor kits our bushman 130 litre upright with our new uh, fridge um, frame there fully encompassing that fridge so even if we don't have any internals at all we can see no back wall or anything there. the fridge is still fully protected well vented and so on Mentioned the C zone, we'll do a full uh, full walk around. This is really, really cool stuff, this C zone. So we can see switching and monitoring. So state of charge, current draw, water tank levels, but all our switch control here as well. And we can it's all fully pro programmable uh, being on the uh, on the on the on the C zone, uh, C bus, pardon me. So fully programmable. We can plug our laptop in and, and really play around with that and have some fun. Of all the different widths, two heights, like I mentioned, once you choose your width and your height to suit your fit out, we can then option in. A single full height drawer will see on the other side, a double drawer will see on the other side, or a drawer and bench as you can see here on the kitchen side. When we pull that bench out, lovely big bench area there you can see in this particular one. But we've also got uh, what we do with our drawer and bench, you can see how, how, how much room we've got there in this beautiful big drawer on, the, on this uh, 695 medium size. But we run the back of the drawer unit full height, so that's actually the full depth of the drawer unit, the four steps up here, and we, it leaves us room for uh, cereal boxes, uh, wine bottles, sauce bottles, and so on. Whatever you might need, uh, you can get uh, you can get in the back in the back of these drawer units, which is really really handy. As we pull out our 350 pantry unit here, uh, again all wired through to our 2600 watt Enerdrive inverter. We'll see on the other side a 12 watt oven, but these are all wired in uh, via the inverter on an override, which we can control again through our C zone. Lovely little pull out bench at the end there on soft close drawers but everything else you see of course on our high quality locking slides there as so we swing around the back of the ute um oh, we'll show you here we've also got uh, lights in all the underslungs as well central locking in every single toolbox on the ute forward and back and all those are on a a little sensor here so so all those lights will turn off when we close the doors but it'll also trigger an alarm inside the car if we happen to turn the car on with the door open which is handy uh, in case we have a, a bit of a whoopsie there with a canopy door or, or a trundle drawer or so on open the trundle drawer, our 1500, you can see we've got a nice little uh, 12 volt lamp, work lamp in there as well, which is just a push button. We've got 12 volt charging and central locking on that 1500 deep trundle drawer as well. Swinging around to the driver's side, we can see our 520 drawer unit, again in our 350 medium height and another 695. But you can see how we can pick these different sizes, in this case, fitting it in with a um, uh, Evercool drawer fridge, but uh, a twin drawer fit out here, and then we've got our full depth draw fit out there and we've got one of our hanging shelves with of course the inner drive 2600 watt inverter color changing lights as standard with all our electrical packages but uh, a really really comprehensive fit out there lots and lots of different options but there it is guys the gen 2 internal fit outs on this f350 
what a build. Australian manufacturing at its finest.